All right, ladies and gentlemen, the arena has officially returned for your daily dose of competitive MK1. We are back today. It is time for Beef's Kitchen. We are, what's popping, brother? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect you to say that, but Salam alaikum, everyone. I hope you have a great evening or good um, afternoon, whatever you, wherever you are, you and your friends, your family, and your loved ones. And uh, I hope you're ready for the day because uh, aside from this uh, juicy lineup, uh, especially with the finale, uh, there's a beef set on the horizon. That is right, Vier. Yeah, I thought after yesterday's PC Top 8 Showdown chat, we were able to have a relaxed evening together. You know, I have my coffee here, you know, we have Vial on the mic, Nero is sleeping there sure. in the back. But then, you know what happened, Vial? I was just casually browsing through my Discord server today. But, and then I took a look at our general chat. And what name popped up there? I saw the villain. I saw MK Javier, both of them trash talking the shit out of each other. And then the last thing I saw was $200 money match today on stream. Chat, put your seatbelts on today. It is time. Someone is gonna lose and someone is gonna win 200 bucks this is today's card and of course vl and i we said you know what we are putting this bad boy on stream here on the last spot for the community Sorry. i know a lot of people out there enjoy these you know money matches slash beef sets so of course we're gonna host that alongside our open fight night we start with 62 cent for sith lord mm -hmm. that means havoc slash havoc versus Kenshi. Kenshi? yes mm -hmm. VL, what do you think uh, yeah, good luck, 62 cents. That's what I'm telling you before. <laughs> you think it's a rough matchup for Havoc? I, I mean, I can see I think it's. So I think it's very hard. I, I think it's very hard for uh, Havoc, for sure. But mostly because, like, it's, you know... Now, especially, like, depending on which um, cameo, like, Sith Lord is planning to go for, whether it's Sub or Cyrax, well, oh, or yeah, maybe I, Striker, you never know. I can see So, it. yeah. Let's see what 60% is going to do, though. We have Lego here versus mm -hmm. it's Link Wei. That means Liu Kang versus Sub Zero. Liu Kang versus Sub Zero? Banger yeah. match, in my opinion. We have Raven Lina returning to the arena as well after a very, very, mm -hmm. very long time. Super happy to see that name today in our lineup channel versus Senseless Sensei. Stream debut the last time we saw him won his debut set as well. Very strong Reptile VL. Can't wait for it. Double debut right after Dark Lord versus. Ghoulies for the first time in the arena mm -hmm. ever. Both of them on stream. Can't wait for it. And then, of course, the treat of the day. The villain yeah. versus MK That's putting it mildly. First to five beef set. Not a first to three like the other ones. This one is going to be extended teabag time mm -hmm. for both of them. Can't wait to see who is going to take this VL. Sounds promising on paper. Both of them super, super strong. But let's see who has oh, the uh, try to go FK because I, I it's too late. Don't worry, VL. I got everything. <laughs> I got everything. Because <laughs> I saw the countdown. But I'm the sorry. thing is, a $200 money match. That means mm -hmm. there is actually a lot on the line for both players. So let's find out mm -hmm. who can deal with it the better way but before that chat we're diving right in first set of the night welcome mm -hmm. to the arena thank you so much for tuning in as always on this beautiful yep. saturday here in germany mm -hmm. so that means we're gonna have kenshi as expected against havoc now which which cameo uh let's see which cameo they're going for though i'm curious striker and cyrax from sith lord that's kind of interesting I ain't gonna lie, I was, perfect. I was definitely expecting the Sub-Zero uh, more, especially like to shut down the Havoc Neoplasm and Seeking Neoplasm. But let's see. Here we go. Okay, chat. Put your seatbelts on. The first match has officially started. Mm -hmm. And once again, to get this party started, can we get some big mm -hmm. case in the chat for the boy Cripple, who dropped an absolute Ooh, kind of in here. the beginning. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. And a big thank you to you, Cripple. Yeah, again, like 50, so thank you so much. I see a couple drops uh, from 62 cent. Ooh, we're ducking underneath those throws. Gonna spend the bar, yeah. And he baits the armor, but Striker comes in and saves the day. There's a Neoplasm, but that's an easy whiff punish. Actually, interrupt with the EX down back three from Sith Lord. It's gonna keep poking. And there's the, good. That the grab whiff. Advancing mid having oh, one of okay. the few buttons he has, which is quite useful in mm -hmm. neutral, I gotta say that. Character struggles here and there, but 62 mm -hmm. cents, so much experience. 62 cents taking a big gamble. But, uh, oh, he's gonna unblock it, isn't he? Oh, no. He missed the punish. He can unblock that. Oh, and he gets caught by the mid. 
a Sith Lord kind of sold here because, like, uh, for those of you who do not know, Havoc's Fatal Blow is the least minus unblocked Fatal Blow in the game. Um, I think it's like minus 16, minus 17 on normal block, but it's an overhead, which means you can up block it. That is right, and especially with that minus. freeze frame right before it, it is not that hard mm -hmm. to do, but of course, you have to be ready for it. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, you just have to have the, the like, really the knowledge and the awareness of it. And right now, Santa's still on the ground. 60% just bowling him with his down four for the most part and is standing to two. Requesting the block right now getting shimmy to the armor. And I feel like Sith Lord, like, he's trying to like up block that armor move. I don't know if like he knows that's not that's not an overhead, but it's a mid. I like that. It's the base. Beautiful bait. awareness from Sith Lord this time. Backdashing mm -hmm. that armor move from 60% full punish. Do and it he again. does it again. 60% he doesn't give a shit. Nice block. But he's in trouble now. Oh, he gets wrong, but no no uh open no, he's about to get chipped out. Wait, does he know now? Oh, he, oh, that was chip anyway. Yeah, there's not much he could have done here. Final round. Let me find the demon drop, and we are recently going. We are arresting a uh, Kinchi players today. <laughs> you are under arrest, my friend. <laughs> Once again, the reminder. Get stuck this time. Today, first to three, mm -hmm. unless, of course, it's the beef set. Then it is a first to mm -hmm. five special. First to five. Again, abusing that far advancing mm -hmm. button Havoc has, but got caught and by the Uncle who was lurking punish, yeah. there. And, ooh, that was a very, uh, very delayed breaker. Gotta probably spend the bar. Step back. Little down three. And he gets caught, he's gonna spend another bar. Yep, center time. And he gets caught pressing, that should be it. Surely he doesn't drop that, and yes, that's going to be it. This is going to be the first round, that means Sith Lord, even though we mm -hmm. didn't get the immediate punish on those potential up blocks, takes the mm -hmm. first round regardless. 62 yeah, cents. Yeah, he does. Feeling the pressure, down 1-0. Danix in the chat, thank you so much for that resubscription, my friend. I appreciate months. you. Yes, th that is a long time, VL. I mean, we're streaming yeah, for more Yeah, that's over than... two years. We are streaming for more than three years, actually. Time flies, chat. I say it every single time. Mm -hmm. It is unbelievable what you guys do for us here in the arena every single day. Thank you so much. But back to the match we go. No character switch yeah. at all. 60% believes in the power of his main. So, uh, to answer your question, I, either uh, Striker's um, arresting move is used uh, to restand. Or just to catch someone off guard in neutral, really. But you will primarily see that for uh, characters like Striker, for, I mean, for Reiko, for example, because he gets a free, like, back to it, which is super plus on block, and you have to get between command grab or overhead or etc. <clears throat> there's, there's the armor right here. And Striker, so much <laughs> saving going on, the day. Yeah. <laughs> Both of them mm -hmm. pressing buttons, then their center, of course, on screen as well. He's gonna call Striker, most likely. And he gets caught. Oh, he might be dead. This is under a lot of damage. I'm not sure if this is going to kill, though. Wait, the scaling looks kind of rough currently, especially after those first hits. I don't think it's mm -hmm. going to be enough yet. I'm not sure because like this is multi-hit. Oh, he's dead. He's super dead. Oh, he is super dead. Bro, he is, is dead. This is 54%. 54, right yeah. To the kisser. Round two. I didn't expect that at all, especially damage. seeing those first few hits, and I was like, nah, he's gonna survive it. Uh, here we go. Now, in terms of, like, dealing with the center pressure, like, I strongly recommend, like, uh, you guys like to, like, to flaws block one, any of the mid attack that Kenshi has in center stand, so that you won't have to worry nearly as much about the chip damage that she will take for just blocking, blocking, blocking against Kenshi in the... Uh, and his central stance. I honestly like the, 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 the way 62 Cent keeps calling Striker oh. mid combo to somehow break mm -hmm. that central pressure. Mm -hmm. Gonna probably call him soon. There he is. Finishes the spring, but he gets right. But oh no, no, uh, I confirmed, but he still gets the round, final round again. Welcome to Salem, Demon Hands. How you doing, brother? Welcome to the arena. You can get shimmy. That's safe on block. That is super safe. I believe it's only minus one. Sykes comes in to guarantee him a, 
A Sento uh, summon here. Oh, both of them. We are pressing buttons mm -hmm. tonight. Not really yeah, pressing. respecting hit advantage oh, at all. Oh, he might regret that breaker. Yeah, he might regret that breaker. Sith Lord went for the forward four and he immediately broke because on the spot, so. Oh, wow, that made it so far. Gets the hit thanks to the grenades. Oh, oh no, we see the blood bath. And Striker got hit. Oh, this is bad. Oh, right now it is looking honestly pretty, pretty rough for 62 Cent. Trying to get something yeah. started. But wait a minute. What is this here from Sith Lord? This man has all the time in the world. Yeah, he has all the time he needs. Trust me, that net has so much hit advantage. And remember, since like the previous patch, I believe, it also steals your, your opponent's super meter. I mean, uh, EX meter, sorry. If they do get hit by it. And it's plus on blocks. And just like that, 2 a lead for Sith Lord. And that means 62 cent, super, super close to getting swept here in front of everyone in match number one. Let's see if he can bring it back. Does he stick with Tracker? Because I mean, both the, the first, both two games went to the final round. So each time he was able to take a round. And yeah, he's sticking with Striker. Um, yes, Bahud, uh, Cyrax's net is uh, steals um, EX meter for um, as long as it's they're still stuck in the net before they either break out or they're getting launched for it or getting hit by the opponent and stuff like that. They're looking the first hit with the demon drop just before Striker landed those uh, high grenade toss. So far so good right now. Oh, he's doing the Naruto oh, run. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The Naruto. <laughs> yeah, that's actually trying to think about it. But yeah, the ancestral god. Man, and Kenshi hurts every single time. Mm -hmm. Even though I hear he really Fabs downplay this break. character every single day, mm -hmm. he is ridiculous, especially in the right hand. Right. Such a strong character. Yeah, for sure. And right now, set load on set point. Guess is wrong on the full game, but guess is right on the overhead this time. Finish the string. That's plus on block. Plus three, but has an armor gap. Like most tr like Havoc strings, really. Oh, goes for the grab. I like okay. that. Sith Lord, mm -hmm. the grab, confidence. Yeah. Corner position secured, and now 62 cents. And the force to connect. The no oh, that's gonna be what finished. He breaks? Yeah. He wants to keep him in the corner. And that's big a wave. big wave. That Central time. Punish. Yeah, of course. And he gets caught. Oh, never mind. A little drop, but still gets the mid pickup again. We'll still poking. Good check right here. And here comes Sento. Sith Lord. Oh, he gets that caught. is it. And he, he, yeah, he, he didn't throw. confirm it. That is it. And yeah, he, 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 he deliberately cents. ended the combo for the breaker. Yeah. That was Not actually really smart from Sith Lord. Able to get anything started. Sith Lord with a phenomenal mm -hmm. performance. I got to say that. GG's to both of them. Thank you so much for signing mm -hmm. up. GG's to both of you. It was hell going impressive. to be a 3-0 for Sith Lord. Yeah, it was. It definitely was. So that means we move on to our second set of the events. That's right. Let's have a look what it is. Yeah, I completely forgot about it. You guys know I'm an old man. So let's have a look at our beautiful <laughs> lineup go. card today. <laughs> Coming up next, chat. It is time for a little bit of Sub-Zero action. Even though it is unbelievable that I'm saying this, VL, it's mm -hmm. Link Way. He is going to meet the boy Lego here in front of everyone. That means Liu Kang main Liu Kang. versus Sub-Zero Loyalist. Interesting matchup, matchup on paper. Let's see how this mm -hmm. one turns out. And of course, I have a little surprise for everyone out there as well. If you're maybe not following our main Twitter account tomorrow, we have a special event planned for every single one out there. And it is, yes, here it is. The boy Wes is gonna join us for a top 8 arena invitational tomorrow. We are literally inviting the best players in the entire world for a top 8 showdown. The boy Wes and I, we are gonna be on the mic together for this. We haven't commentated, I think, for close to a year now. So hopefully Damn. you guys are ready for it. Promise it's getting extra sweaty. As expected, we're gonna see Liu Kang versus Sub Zero. 
And we saw with the EX uh, flying dragon kick from the uh, from Nego. Getting that first hit right on the spot and the uh, our first YOLO EX slide. And I say our first because it's just you know it's sub zero, so I'll throw them out sometimes. Nice and here, but barely missing the middle version. Sub Zero Serena. Serena being without question one of his best cameos. Mainly because of the damage and the the zoning capabilities, like of a single blade. Uh, nice block on that. Oh, miss punish. input. Yep, missed the punish on this. NVL, I have mm -hmm. to ask you in front of everyone. What mm -hmm. do we think about Sub Zero in general in this game? Do you honestly think the character is bottom tier? Is he like bottom one, like people say? Or do you think, um, wait, you know, he has a little bit of sauce going? Yeah, um, he, he, like, you know, he becomes particularly better, especially thanks to Chameleon. Like, Chameleon does a lot for him if you lab, if you lab sub. Um, allows him to launch from the slide, which is nice to have, you know. Having a slide that launches on hit, thanks to the uh, fan lift from the Katana Disguise. Just to name that, not not just to mention the glow, the the glaive, the glow from the Jade Disguise and stuff like that. He has some mind games that are deceptively dirty thanks to the bomb roll. So Chameleon does a lot for him, but right now, like Lin Kuei looking like in control. Lin Kuei, this is I think that is the third time we have Lin Kuei mm -hmm. on stream. And let's be honest, having a sub zero represented in these events always a blast to watch. It's a nice touch, yeah. Oh wow, Lego committed for the first time to the full strength. Lin Kuei already for it. Nice whiff punish on the dash hit, but no hit confirmed though. Nice block on the back too. And he gets caught ducking. Oh, he doesn't. Four. Oh, he, he went for that because probably because Linko was about to get his breaker. Nice oh, block on the slide. That is a little and he goes bit for too the optimal. Ballsy. Wake up, slide. This is not MK11 anymore. Mm -hmm. Come on. Yeah, this is now back when it was an 11 frame slide or 9 frame slide in MKX. In this game, it's a 14 frame. I remember the good old conflict these days. Yeah, you know, wake up, back dash slide. We just, nah, can, can we not? <laughs> You know, that would be nice, you know. Let's go wake up, roll into slide. <laughs> you remember that? Oh my gosh. But right now, he's getting scooped. Linkway's getting scooped right now, and he, and it forces uh, him out of his breaker. Nice whiff punish on that forward one. That was beautiful. Put the back to three. Well, right now, Keeps all of a sudden, the, Lego course. in the driver's seat. Little shit on this block. We'll try to armor break, but... Not in time. Nice up block. Beautiful block, block on that jump kick. Lego. That, well, had the awareness. Do we close it out with oh, the Oh, he got a miss input. Yeah, he, he got a miss. It's a very common miss input I see. Like people, um, you know, messing up the mirrorless flying kick buff after the EX one. So because of that, they get a jump by accident instead of the uh, flying kick brutal. But and just that's... like that, first game for Lego. You know what I see? First of all, I see the boy Zeno here with the gifted subscription to the community. Can we get some Eos in the chat right now? We are close to a high train. The first one of the night. Let's have a party here together on this beautiful weekend. Hope everyone is having a great one. And no, uh, no switch from uh, Lin Kuei. Sticking with Serena Cameo. Shall his name pass my lips? Round one, fight! Here we go. It's the first hit, that's gonna be a punish, yep. Ford wants into the flank kick minus enough to punish it with the uh, EX summon move from Lou. And Link by getting that full grab. Well, that boss hit from so far because Link by extended his hard box by whiffing that bolt. So one from Lego. Nice read. Expecting the, the delayed flank kick, and that's a very easy punish for Lou. Six frames standing one. And there's again another punish. Doesn't have meter. And one two into a spin does not work. Mid screen, as far as I'm concerned. Can only do that in the corner. And he gets caught pressing here. So Stilling his meter with the. Uh, Jataka curse. Lock on the double low. We mash in, because why not? <laughs> Push will take on the fourth grab. This so well, is so the Serena in neutral. Right into mm -hmm. the slide. Linkway. Are you completely incapable? Round two. Fight. Four grab. Three. Good 
like Lego did a good job not really get, getting caught by the uh, the counter like poking to a uh, ice clone. Right here. Ooh, the up block the stun gets baited. Increased damage on the throw. And ooh. I don't know if that was the EX uh ice ball middleness. Might have been the EX because uh I just noticed that the EX might have got eaten by that. Oh big whip on the back two three, but it's where we did basically Oh no! Oh no, this is this is empty level mode. Microduck right under. And the Microduck right here, yeah. Go into fatal yet. Linkway sitting on three. Oh bars. no, missing foot. Wait, I think that might have been missing foot. There's no way he meant to try to stand in four here, especially since it's so high. Yeah, slide. Yep, there it is. And he gets scarred, not blocking low. We have a match. One game apiece. Beautiful stuff. I honestly like what I see from both sides. Everything tied up again, VL. This is the power of these players. Overall, insane mm -hmm. level every single season. And once again, the reminder for everyone who potentially likes to join us when crossplay drops, feel free to join the Discord. I think more than 5,000 people are in it at this point. Super, super stacked. So if you want to enjoy your hobby with us, everyone is welcome. Basically, the entire world playing in these events at this point, VL. Yeah, this is going to be like... Always enjoyable to see. Your choice have been different. Matchup is always really weird, you know? Like... It's one of the matchups where I've never really... Figured out, like, if one really has any sort of lead over the other. Right now we see Lego, he's trying to chip down Link Way as much mm -hmm. as possible. Oh wow, that's a big Galoosh. commitment. That was a big commitment on the back 2-3, but it worked, forcing Link Way out of his breaker. Oh wow, that dive kick still connected. He's gonna back 2. Yep, there it is. Jump 2-1, Ice Clone. Jump oh, again. Man, jump these these Sub-Zero combos, they look so cool in this game. Mm -hmm. And another ice clone. Oh Ooh, wow. That is exactly nice. what Link Way needed. Absolutely. And he gets shimmied. And that was the mirrorless freeze. Using the head advantage to his favor. And he secured the four grab in the first round. And I think this is the first time he takes the lead in the set. Let's punish on the uh, fireball. I guess caught now blocking low. And he's gonna regret that. This is gonna hurt. Goes for the triple back to standing four. Yeah, look at him go. Two one. Twenty two. Twenty four. Still going. Combo. Forty four. Forty four percent. One one. Go punish. Nice conversion as well. This might be. Oh, he's dead. Oh, actually, I'm not sure. Oh, he didn't spend the other bar. That is ridiculous. And the forward one. Link way. This man the is going crazy. Victory and brutal. Right into the brood as well. This mm -hmm. sub zero looks sub -Zero. dangerous. Yeah, that was a that was a definition of a one-sided round. He just did not let him out of here. He did not let him out of the corner. Impressive flawless round right here. Lego looking completely overwhelmed over there in the corner. Mm -hmm. Let's see if this might be the first game five of the night, or if Linkway is able to close it out. Mm -hmm. Oh, we see a character switch. Now Goro. Hmm. Thank you for inspiring my hat. It is a worthless gimmick, Kung Lao. Round one, fight. There we go, we're gonna see a lot, I feel like we're gonna see a lot of these. Of course we are, one of the best armored launchers in the entire game. Yeah. I personally think it's the best armored move in the game, really. And right here, be, by the way, yes. that wake up, uh, that wake up that you just saw Link Way go for rips is actually full combo punishable. It's invincible, but it's actually full combo punishable when you do it on wake up. When you do it normally, it's safe. It's minus two, minus three on block, something like that, and it's a mid. But on wake up or reversal, you're getting launched for it. He got away with that for the moment. So let's see if this happens again. Uh, Lego binding his time. Just have to be careful about the EX. Oh wow! His armor just absorbed Link Ways. Oh, 
Looking for plus friends, can't three. get them, but here and armor again. again. Armor for the victory. Worked out this time. Round two, fight. Now four. I feel like Kung Lao might be able to punish that. Uh, might be able to punish that dive kick, maybe with his back one, because for those of you who don't know, uh, Lao is the only character alongside Liu Kang that has a six frame uh, combo punish. Full combo punish, which is a back one. Ooh, which is special move. That Ooh. is the perfect way to deal with it. Just zoom mm -hmm. out of it. Yeah, neutral jumping over it is definitely one of the best ways to uh, deal with that parry. Oh, wow, what an NTA! Man, just empty him out of his dark kick with a standing one, just no biggie. I'll put you on ice. Link Wei, can he make it? A lot of people say Sub Zero unplayable in this game, but Link Wei shows us otherwise. Little trade right here. Oh, there's another almond move. One, two, one. Five, four, two. Nice block on that, that's why we're down to punish. Oh, he's stuck on the pick up. Doesn't get shimmied. That was a risky poke. That could have been an Armin move and the YOLO slide. There's the armor. Link Boy was perfectly ready for it. And nice read on the slide. He's dead. Yeah, he's dead. Back to four. One, two, one. Yeah. We're going Final to full game. distance, baby. Game, game five. five. We're getting T packs on top of that. Lego. And we got some T packs too. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Wait a minute. Let me sit up real quick. Can we get some eels in the chat, baby? Yo, what's good, Hounds? How you doing, homie? Welcome to the arena. <laughs> the, the chat, they cannot oh, believe what they're seeing right now. And you know what, VL? For the dude in the chat who complained about the audio, I'm gonna make it wait, extra. Wait, hold on. I, was, I was about to say I'm something. I'm gonna make it extra me loud, that. chat. You know what? You better <laughs> lower that volume real quick. Hold on. Let me. Hold on, let, let me have some fun too. Give me a sec. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Chat, I'm what pressing kind of that button. That? Here we come. The arena Lovely. is yeah. back for more. You and I. <laughs> so who's gonna take it? Let me take a look at our we'll final on chat prediction. 64% on Link Wei, 36 on Lego. Mm -hmm. Well, the ice ball barely interrupted it by that, uh, that bus saw. Nice Daffy, just sniping the slide. And a really good auto out of the dark pick, Lego. Turning out the heat right now. Standing three. We see another one. Nope. Four grab it is. Yeah. And there it is oh, again. We're abusing it over and over again. Mm -hmm. Never change the running system. That's what yeah. Lego is thinking right now. Oh, that didn't shit. But he is airborne, so it's gonna mess up the combo routes from uh, Lin Kuei. Gets Kapchan and poking. Wait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, 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 no way. He's gonna wake yeah, up. Yeah, but he also has something. He's gonna armor, sure. No, oh he's no, gonna we're gonna up the We're gonna wake up down too. That's what we're gonna do. I did not know Kung was an Indian character, man. And we're arming out of those eyes clone. Forcing the breaker out of the but I feel like he wanted I feel like he more like broke to keep him on the same side. And again, empty jump armor. Those armors are connecting so much right now. One, two, one. Confirm into back four two. This is looking rough for Lin Kuei right now. Another armor. Link Wei fighting for his life. But wait a minute. He tried, he tried armor break. Big, oh, he got big hit. mistake from Lego. And he spends the fatal blow immediately, which I agree with because this is not going to skill a lot. This is going to do some good damage. You got to look at 48%. Maybe 46, 47. Yeah, 46 and a half. Oh, he tried to make a hard read. Oh, there it is, of course, the armor as he jumps. This match is over, Lego takes it, and we go right into that fatal. Oh, and the Thanksgiving fatal, beautiful. I just love how gross it is. Especially since it involves food I will never eat. So I'm just chilling. <laughs> Fate 
Well, what are we doing here today? We just wanted to have a relaxed <laughs> evening, you know, of nice MK1. And that's what it turned into, chat? Mm-hmm. But very GG's to uh, all the um, very GG's to uh, both players, because that was a really good set. I ain't gonna lie. So uh, let's see, who do we have next? Coming up next, it is Raven Lina returning to the arena after a long, long time versus one of oh, our of new additions um, who joined us for season three, Senseless Sensei. The last time we had him on stream, he surprised a lot of people out there with his reptile. But VL, we both know Raven Lina, one of the best Edenian players we have ever seen in the arena. Literally very, very hard to beat. So I can't wait to see how this match is going to mm -hmm. turn out. Hope you guys out there enjoy the show so far. Thank you so much for being here. And of course, and thank you VL here. for spending time with us on the mic. Of course, no problem. You already know, brother. It's always a pleasure. We're very likely going to see either Sendel or Katana from, uh, from Alex. And, do, and we do see the Reptile from Sensei, as you mentioned. And Sendel Chameleon, okay. And we're going to have Reptile Chameleon on the other side, both using easily the best cameo character in the game. So let's see. Round one. And of course, we go right yeah. to that Sendel. Mm -hmm. Oh, that left was about barely missed. The glow. Old one missing, but finishing the string. Good awareness from, uh, from Alex. Gets that false ball into the side. Keeps it simple with the 4 3 2. And the glow catching him, pressing here. Do we go invisible? No, we don't. We're catching it. Oh, no punish on the acid spit. Gets away with it for now. And the armor out of it. Your back one has an armor gap. And then the armor break here, but a huge combo drop. Ooh! A super plus. Forward one barely catching him. And he caught him pressing, uh, trying to force lift. Now, I don't know. I'm not sure. Yeah, he might be dead, right? Oh, never mind. Wait, he doesn't spend it. And gets caught by the low. Ooh, he's just getting caught blocking high here. Eating them uh, low hairballs. Here, Alex catching uh, since he's trying to mash after the 4 3 1 stagger. That's on the uh, serve your queen special move. Oh, nice punish! The glow is still active. Thanks, Chameleon, for that. 34% gone. And oh, he was, he was just straight up not blocking. He actually whiffed the double overhead, but the mid still caught him not blocking. And we have a final round. The glow interrupting the. 4-1 attempts, 35-6, 35%, and we're working up on the armor move. And the armor break, but no hit confirmed though. Oh, Raven Lina, okay, we are floating oh, across this one, though. the screen. Good hit up. Mm -hmm. 32% hard knockdown. Broken, and there's the armor. And 4-1, no hit confirmed though. But he caught him jumping on hit, you can't really do that. It's 2 plus. And Alex taking the first game, 1-0. 1-0 lead, Raven Lina. And Raven Lina actually sent us a message before the stream started, VL, saying, I didn't play MK1 for the last three weeks, so hopefully I'm still able to oh. convert these combos. <laughs> All right, so far, so good from what we're seeing so, uh, with, uh, with that Sendel Chameleon of his. Doing a good job right now. Let's see if he can keep this up. 1-0 for him against uh, Senseless uh, Sensei. You should have brought the Earth Realmers to me. At the time, I didn't know I could trust you. Yeah. Round one. Fight. That almost, uh, that almost armor broke uh, the cogwheel. I mean, the, the back force one from Recto. But Raven Lina slowly getting it's back into done, it. Yeah. I literally see the confidence rising. Mm -hmm. One one into the bar roll. Trade on the same side, gets the glow going. The X force bar, which goes full screen. 
And that's a trade that Sensei will happily take. Oh, that could have. Oh, that that would have been sick. That would have been amazing. And the whiff on the car wheel, but gets away with it. That's punishable on Flawless Block, and I see a missing foot. But he still gets the glow. He might break in time. Actually, is he going to be able to break? Yes, he is. There it is. Something random is coming. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. See, well. <laughs> the body splash. How did I call it out? Ravenly yeah, the body splash. The back four, the down back four, whiff punishing the fireball. He's swinging those forward one. The re a risky uh, reversal, uh, reptilian dash catching him from trying to back dash on block. Nice block on that roll, but no punish, unfortunately. <laughs> Balhood comment link saying, not. I have a problem with this stream. I was afraid that when I read that, and he's like, everybody's too quiet in the chat. Let's go. Can we get some noise over here? Drop some AOS, drop your favorite emote. Wow, Let's how did that jump kick hit? MK1 alive together. There's a little bit of glow. The bar barely missing. Oh, we're going, we're getting YOLO here. And he gets caught. And that's a breaker. Good it's the back grab and he's going for the, be, uh, for the brutal. Let's like, be honest. That? It is so insane to see that these newcomers, you know, we have never seen them before. And all of a sudden we see these signups from players like Sensei. And these guys are absolute demons, bro. Oh, there's the glitch. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what, wait, what is with what is right. happening with Reptile? Yeah. yeah, he turned his back. He, turned, he just turned his back. <laughs> he was like, you know what, I'm done. Right. Maybe you proved him right by being unprofessional right now. Anyway, uh, <laughs> back to the match. And the down three. Nice conversion with the delayed level team. From the back two. Little drop here. It's like getting his like, oh, as I say that, never mind. Drops his combo as well. Now, do not worry, the B set hasn't taken place. It's going to be our final set. Yep, that's right. Even. Because originally, guys, so not uh, worry about the it. beef set wasn't even planned. They just let me know right before the stream started. So the other mm -hmm. day we said, you know what? Of course, we're going to host it here with the community. So we slept it on the last spot mm -hmm. of today's lineup. That's a block, but no punish. Oh, missing put on on his side as well. And nice punish on that one with the 4-1. Sindel, one of the easiest characters to punish the ball with. With that 4 1. I'm just gonna oh, mention something nice real bait. quick. Oh, yeah, that was a good bait. But I'm, I, I just want to mention this. Um, so far, every single time Sensei has been doing his back three one string, uh, Alex armored through it with the EX car wheel. So I feel like Sensei might want to start trying to bait that. I mean, right now, obviously, he has no meter, so it's fine. Oh, he dropped it. He wanted for the. For the um for the throw combo. And he's gonna regret that. This might kill actually no, never mind. This is not gonna kill. Well, actually maybe he has the winning uh, the side. Oh no, still not yet. Oh we caught him we caught him pressing good with punish. Does he spend the fiddle though? No, he's not. Smelling a card wheel. Yeah, I called it. <laughs> yeah, I literally called it. <laughs> and he does it and he takes the lead in the set. Two one. Two one for him. Raven. For Raven Lina. Lena, we are back in the arena. Raven Lena probably heard that an that crossplay <laughs> is dropping very, very soon. I'm super excited for that, VL. I gotta say, that mm -hmm. is even more important to me personally than any Peacemaker update or whatsoever. Just having yeah, access to the entire community. I really hope that it's gonna be available for King of the Hill matchmaking as for well. King of the Hills, yeah, yeah. Otherwise, yeah. chat, you're gonna see me have a heart attack on stream. Like, literally. If they mm -hmm. announce it for versus only, then I'm gonna lose it. Yeah, because it was only for uh, versus. It was only for. It, it was not even for ranked. It was only for He's casual matchmaking, um, and for like so the crossplay lobbies Round back in MK11, and it remained in beta phase. So I just hope it gets better here. I mean, like we know, like it works with with PC players. Like PC players, like apparently will be able to play with the console players, which is a double U compared to like the crossplay of the uh, of MK11. But obviously, it's not enough. We better need to. We, we, we better have like crossplay King of the Hill, and then we hope better King of the Hill also get fixed and like also like work better in terms of like you know lag lag issues depending on like whoever's inviting the hill oh, but, and I mean but the, right now, stuff yeah. like that. But right Raven now, Lina like cooking in yeah. front of our eyes, fallen May in the chat. Thank you so much for the reason mm -hmm. saying crossplay soon. Hope Thank you your very much. Hearts are ready for those Xbox demons. We can't wait right. for them. Super excited. Right.
<laughs> what was that? No, oh no, he was swinging. Yeah. And he's gonna regret that one. Really missing the 420. Kids caught not blocking here. 4 2 3, but too early. And we go for the car cancel. Go back to car cancel to slide, and there's the bar roll. He doesn't drop this though. 31% losing armor. No, we see wake up buttons and the and the sweep. Sorry, this honestly Since might still be another game five. Fight. Yeah, we might see get another game number five. Jump kick barely missing. That is neutral on block. Way back throwing, cause why not? Armor? Nope. Oh, he gets caught not blocking here. And that's a breaker. And he gets denied. His friend left gets denied. Let's see if on block. Like it's punish and he tried wait he tried to he tried to wake up ex dash that is not a wake up sir that is not armored and he's gonna regret that well, there is so much damage yeah. and that is the price mm -hmm. you pay for dropping one single combo versus the death. nice block excellent block on that bar roll but big but a huge drop though another back to roll sensei can he do it the side just in case that he jumps oh boy nice block can't punish at this range yeah and nice he caught him mashing that is plus the, uh, and he's going to regret it i cannot believe that i'm saying it again chat but drop your favorite emote in the chat we have another game five another game five menu. sensei the new addition to the arena playing out of his mind tonight That's a game number five already. Our second one uh, of the day. Now, since uh, since they just took that game, that means it's very for Lina who has the chance to switch character or switch cameos. So let's see what he's gonna do from here. Reptile. I know what I'm gonna do. Yeah. I'm gonna press that magic button <laughs> real quick. Thank you guys Sir, so much for tuning in. Man. Thank you so much for spending time with us today. Let's Ooh. go crazy together. Katana Sub Zero. I am ready for it, Your Highness. Here we go. Character switch and cameo switch. And we're starting off with a back two four ready. Understand Oh, this is one. This was gonna hurt. All right, this is gonna really hurt. Watch the damage. He doesn't drop it. We're still in. Still in. 25%. No, Raven Lina going okay. crazy. Game five. Mm -hmm. Which is the and hit confirms it, of course, without any problem with the fan NATO. And I honestly like that approach a lot, you know, in that last round, switch characters to your secondary main, mm -hmm. so Sensei doesn't really know what's happening. Mm -hmm. But as you say that, he lands a force ball, it's invisible. Our castle it is. Oh no, Trip yeah. Off. I don't know. If, so, um, for those of you who don't know, um, the friend lift counts as a hit that does no damage to the person actually using it. Because of it, Reptile loses his invisibility as he goes for the lift. He doesn't keep it. Which could be problematic for, uh, for Sensei. Nice up block. Oh, this is gonna hurt so much. Yeah, this is gonna be insane damage. Ravelina still going. Oh. There's the sub zero freeze. What the hell is that combo even? What the hell? Is oh my goodness. Now, no way he's dead, right? Yeah, he's alive. He's alive. Look at the scaling. What, what, yeah, this is one of the craziest scaling. combo I've ever seen. But that combo was really saucy. I ain't gonna lie. It was really, really saucy. 48%? Or seven and a half. Okay. Big whiff on the back too, but he gets away with it. He got away with murder here, and he's gonna what? win this set with the Buro as well. I honestly don't Three understand two. what I just witnessed. What <laughs> the hell was that combo from Raven Lina? I've never seen that before. It felt yeah, that like combo was sexy there was sure. no end to it, Viel. It kept going. I don't even know how many bars did he spend. How many bars did he even spend? Like I saw, I know he did like he did the EX fan toss. He did the EX fancy flick, I think. So I think that was a two bar combo with the fatal blow. It was ridiculous. Raven Lina, congratulations. But I have to be honest here. 
Sensei, that was super, super impressive as well, especially considering what kind of player Raven Lina is. That was a great match. Thank you to both of them for playing here today. Hope you guys enjoyed it just as much as we did. And that means we have one remaining set before we're gonna host that $200 money match. Unbelievable numbers. Villain versus MK Javier later on. So All there right. we go, debut, debut fight. Ghoulish versus Monster of Dark. Looking Chameleon versus uh, Raiden Kano. And a good with punish, are you, with that glaive? There's the bar, that's a that's free O key, by the way. That's a safe jump if you turn it properly. Let's teleport him to the knife toss. We've got an armor here. That is safe. Actually, that's not, because Luke can actually full combo punish that string with the standing 1 2, because it's negative 7. Nice swift punish on that poke. He's gonna get launched off of it. Oh, oh no, he tried to go for the standing full route. The poke special. But he catching him counter poking. Does he break? It catches no, everyone he's off guard because you just try to take your turn it back does. and you get full combo punish for it. Have I improved, Lord Liu Kang? Round two, fight. Another good wave punish. And he goes for the Razzle Dazzle. That's literally just the main purpose of that special move. We hardly see it apart from that, really. And he tries to enter with standing one, but barely messing it up. The sweep. Oh, no, no, no full combo punish from uh, the fireball. That was a misinput from um, from goals, but and he gets caught counter poking. Keeps it simple here. Nice, oh, really nice duck, but no fuck up. Get the punish out of it, unfortunately. Yeah, can't get punished, unfortunately. Oh, nice lift! That saved him! That was a really nice lift from Goals. Is it simple? And he caught him with punishing his poke. And he's dead. Yeah, he's absolutely gonna kill him with this combo right here. I see you, Mikasa. How you doing? What's going on, Sith? Again, well played. Tigress, the wind kick queen. Even though we don't miss your wind kicks. Back to the match. Um, here comes the 14 4 from Master of Dark. Close match so far. Nice block! Does he break? No, he's saving his meter again. Like, he's like, we haven't seen Gold going for a single record, have we? Nice follow up on that 4 4, by the way. That's to be a misinput. I guess we're with it, but he's eating a 4 grab, though. We've pun oh, I'm gonna cut off, we've punished that, and he gets caught counter poking. No break! He still didn't break! Alright? Maybe he's just goes to his faith, yeah, you know? Yeah, I mean, it's right, and I, I get that feeling. <laughs> yeah, I can, sometimes I can understand <laughs> it as well. We were just saying, you know what? I had enough. Yeah, I don't think you had the. No, uh, Nick Flames, I don't know if you're aware of it, but there is a glitch that concerns Chameleon. Even if she gets hit, you can still break. Which I hope is. A, which, I, which is a glitch, by the way, that really needs to be fixed. Yeah, yeah, I'm telling you that that is cheap. If if you know how to use it to your advantage, that is cheap. And no character switch for Google sticking with the uh, Lucan with Chameleon. Now. A good first match to start things off, really. Starting off only like summoning the glow. Oh wow! Big big jump! I don't think he wouldn't press the button. Mm -hmm. Save jump. And for everyone in the chat, after this, we're gonna host the beef set. Yep, this is the last set before the. I know a lot of people villain, are here for that. It is happening right <laughs> after. The villain versus MK Javier. First to five. Oh no, it's over now. It's shimmied. That's for the, the easier route. Keep it simple. That is safe against Liu Kang. Oh, this is gonna hurt. And he's dead. It is, yeah. That's the perfect yeah. way to describe it. Mm -hmm. My strength grows. Round two, fight. <clears throat> Back to three. Standing three, three, three. That's where the stage up again. And that is a full combo By the way, every single yeah. time this glaive returns. Every single time, yeah. And he gets shimmied. Does he break in time? Oh, big drop. I hope he doesn't regret it. 
Wow, that's Swift actually coming. And the, yeah, he didn't have enough health to take any hit anymore. Well, that means everything's so tied up again. So many again, close yeah. matches one, one. on stream today. Do you think the beef set is going to be that close too? I hope. I absolutely hope so, because that would be like... Right, I mean, is it gonna uh, is is villain be trying to is gonna try to send back at first, or does he gonna or is he gonna go immediately for Raiden? Well, obviously Javier is going. I'm Scorpion. super curious about that as well. But the yes, thing they don't he know have yet, the yeah. is, you know, Chad, uh, mm -hmm. VL and I, we we actually charge one hundred ninety eight dollars for our commentary. So in in the end, they mm -hmm. only play for two dollars, but they don't know that yet. We're yeah, gonna let you. them know after the stream. You know, yeah. when yeah, when yeah, we yeah, send them that invoice, mm -hmm. VL. Well, Melham, <laughs> upon taking out taking the money, by the way, we'll, we're gonna mail you. We're gonna mail you our thanks, uh, the, uh, so don't worry about that. Back to the match. Uh, the back two comes in. Yep, Chad, I'm getting that hair transplant no matter what. <laughs> uh, Hagrid will no longer serve a purpose then. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get back to the match though, because yeah, these the two, they are playing out of their minds. Remember, first time oh, they beat for both of them. Oh, we found the fourth form, gets away with it. Not budging now. Nice into here. Keeps it simple. So far so good right now. He jumps out of the corner. Doesn't get shimmy. Nice block. That's a punish. Yep. Macro dash. Standing to four. Good pick up. Doesn't jump the four two route. Nice for punish, oh, but no hit confirmed though. No. That wasn't a punish, right? It was just a straight up open. Yeah. I think it was, yep. <gasps> oh! Oh! Oh, no, nah, never mind. That's scrambler. not to be cheap. Yeah, that was scrambling. I ain't gonna lie. Round two. Fight. The electric fly. See right here, like let's just say, like had like dark uh, started the combo after like, coming got hit. The ghost was still been able to break. Nice read on the throw. Punishing it with his own. Not for combo punishing it. And the down three into the bar roll. Does it spend any bar? And he gets caught counter poking. Does he break? No, he's he not. He doesn't. He's just holding it. Yeah, he really does. Yeah. Doesn't get counter doesn't get caught counter poking this time. And they start saying how many subs to bring that ring. We have like that secret goal whenever we hit 100 subs in one stream. I'm going to subs, yeah. And right now we are sitting at Hagrid. 53. Yeah. We're actually more than 50% through it though. I'm a little bit of wrecked yeah. now. Mostly shout out to Cribble for that. Oh, it gets caught, but no, he confirmed though. Safe. That is completely safe on block, minus six. And he gets caught counter poking again. This time he does break. And the armor electric fly caught him moving to one. Dark, two for one lead. Here, first time on stream bringing that Raiden Kano juice. We all know potentially we see some nerves next week about that VR. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I feel like we do on both sides. I think so too. Because the mm -hmm. thing is, there's just too much uproar, you know, about that particular combination, yeah. in my opinion. I, I think Raiden is definitely going to catch some strays. I think Raiden mm -hmm. might be the character which is most likely gonna get nerfed with the next patch. I hope I think him and, even feel, though there feel, are so like many characters, still, yeah. yeah, a lot of characters are very, very strong in this game. But I think Raiden mm -hmm. is just a little bit over the top right now. Yeah, like I feel like the main thing that should be nerfed in terms of Raiden is how fast he recovers after missing an electric fly. He recovers way too fast after missing one. So basically, it's a free pass out of the corner in a lot of matchups. And of course, like this down back three has to dip. Like this. minus twelve is nowhere near minus enough. Uh, too much chip damage. And yeah, and EX you should not be able to like ambush cameo cancel his uh, EX the EX version of it. Especially since a multi hitting low that launches you. Like I don't know, man. Oh, speaking of which, speak of the devil. There it is. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you call Literally. it. There it is. Mm -hmm. Oh, caught him right here. Maybe one to hit advantage. Damn, that's not to reach really far. Oh, he gets caught. Ooh, he gets caught. Can he kill? Yes, he can. That does kill. Goal's still alive. Do we see another game number five? Potentially. 
Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be honest with you, press. If if I can be honest, fully honest here, the health nurse or buffs are lazy as hell. Like th that's not balancing. Like I, I know they did that with Johnny Cage, for example. Like and as you guys may have noticed, it didn't do crap. Like for the most part, it really didn't do crap. Johnny is still Johnny. Like that. What changed him is like the the nerf on her parry and just like, and as I say that, dog getting another ex down back three. Let's get Shimin. Takes his turn and gets caught. I think Ghost was ducking on heat. And he's gonna regret that. It looked like it. Maybe he was expecting some kind of throw or whatever. But what matters is it, it didn't work. And mm -hmm. Dark is on match point. Interesting answer. Trying to go mm -hmm. for that storm cell on its own. Oh, no duck on that low. Maybe he expected something. Like Ooh. A lot more special, like, you know, on the ghouls, like, been effective so far, but. If Dox ends up catching up to it, he might be in trouble. So, we'll see. I think it's caught Kiana fucking here. Yeah, 100% Froggy. Like the side switching breakers, that has to go too. Oh, he gets caught mashing, but no confirm though. Like just top, hit Chameleon off the screen as well. Yeah. Nice and here. This was a is this kind of kill? Anti. Might be enough damage. Not Almost. Quite. Jump. Electric fly. Covering all options. But now we are the so close to the chip out. Oh Wait. my goodness. It, oh, it. And we have another game number five. Yeah, I thought he had it. I thought this man is going to yeah. clutch it out in front of everyone. Very unfortunate whiffing issue uh, for Dark right here. Are we really sorry about that, though, Via? <laughs> <laughs> does really? Because <laughs> all those electromagnetic storms? <laughs> Chad, we have another Game 5. This might be the days of Game 5. So many of them already. Hope you enjoyed the show out there. Thank you so much for tuning in. Welcome to the arena. And now let's set this bad boy on fire together. I will speak to Here we go. Game five. What is that? Wait, how did? I... Oh, never mind. It's Kano. It's his cameo. I'm stupid. Because I was like, the knife toss like went through him. I was like, nah, never mind. Like it's it's his cameo, literally. That'd be fun if he could hit it himself too. Speaking of knife toss, I think I think I think they should catch a stray. That was some great spacing. Oh, go oh, good conversion right here. Doesn't drop it this time. Keeps it simple with the electric fly finisher. Here. More storm cells right into Kano <laughs> to keep it safe. Try to poke into Jay, which is obviously super fake. Standing 3 4, standing 3 4, standing 2 4. Yep. Goes to the proper route. Kano comes in. We find that. Oh, that sucks! And he breaks that. Ooh. I don't know if that was intentional. Oh, big boy, finish on that poke! Does he spend the fatal though? He, he does. does. He, he wants now he to gotta guess. He gotta guess now. If you actually properly time a dash after the fatal blow knockdown, you actually have to eat a fourth four or guess on the attack the flow. So let's see. Grab a fourth four. No, he backs away, and that's gonna be a massive mistake. Ex electric fly. I love goals. No, that's he actually like gets a free meaty there after the fatal blow, and he's gonna come back. And Master of Dark cooking a big combo, another one right mm -hmm. after! Another one! That's speed on this, by the way. And another thing that he does spend the Look bar. how much HP Ghoulish lost here! Yeah, and two touches, literally. Goes for the grab, does he gotta go for the throw combo? He does, and he gets it. It's the Oki. Another throw. Did you get a free flying kick, by the way? Oh, he, he, he rushes him in. Good luck on the glow. Electric fly, yeah. That's minus one on block only. Standing one and two. Oh, that, that's been a missing put. Oh, this is gonna be so hard. And there's the anti air. So standing the one. Anti -air and Master of Dark wins mm -hmm. his first set ever on stream. Congratulations. Yeah, that was a really good set again, too. 3 2. Another 3 2. So that means 
<laughs> it's time. That is right. Let's talk about it. The reason a lot of people are here with us today on Twitch, it is time for this special set of the day. And to give you guys some mm -hmm. background info information about what happened, as always, we have the villain beefing yet with another player. I just casually browsed through my Discord server today and then this message popped right into my face. Villain, MK Ravier, both of them wanting a $200 money match on stream. And Vial and I, we said, of course, we're going to host this bad boy together mm -hmm. with the community. The thing is, the villain, he is like super, super strong in these money matches because I don't know how he does it, but he never seems to be affected by tournament nerves at all. This man always plays very, very solid, can play a lot of different characters at the same time. But does it really matter when you have a player like MK Javier on the other side? The best Scorpion in the entire world, the highest ranked pro competition Scorpion. VL, give me your thoughts on this matchup. What do you expect? Let's see. And, and yeah, we're going yes, for the main. We're Great going for the main. To Raiden. Raiden. Versus a player like Javier, you want your first main mm -hmm. character, your strongest character, so to say. And that's what's happening. Guys, thank you so much for the Prime sub. Guys and Peter, thank you very much for the subs, yeah, for the Twitch Prime and the six months. And choo choo, MS! <laughs> We're even on the high to say it. Beef yes, set we are. is starting first to five special. Let's go crazy. And chat. we already see a lot of flawless blocks. A lot of flaw. We already see some flawless block on the respectively the death spin. Nice up block on that teleport jump punch from uh, from B. Making it pay for it. That was that was that sick. Was an so how fast read. he committed to the read? Disgusting read. Yeah, that was a very very early nice read. Risky pull from uh, from B. Uh, Javier playing it safe for now. Kano gets swept, and B takes the back grab from Javier. Oh, and he's eating a spear, and he's dead. He is dead as hell. No pun intended. <clears throat> First round goes to MK Javier. Fight. Awareness on Javier, knowing, knowing of course that the the TP was Oh, he got shimmy in a questionable breaker. Faisal in our set is saying, free him up, MK Javier. The thing is, Faisal already beefed mm -hmm. with the villain. We know that. Oh, really? Defense on Javier just taking the forward grab. Oh, he tried to down one four three. He tried to he tried to front him. And he tried to jump here. Back two comes in. Oh, got him pressing here with that mid standing for spear. Does he call striker? And just whip on that. No chin damage taken, but he gets eaten. Can it? Oh, one two barely catching him uh, moving. He's eating the back throw. That's where punish, but he has to break. And there it is, VL. Yes, we have mm -hmm. that breaker available. The problem is MK Javier is still sitting on three six. Oh, of nice. Water. EX unblockable. Yeah, that's guaranteed. After that knockdown, it's an OTG off the ground. First game goes to MK Javier. MK Javier, who just said thank you for the free money, bro. After Villain challenged him to this beef set, taking the lead 1-0. Let's see if we might see mm -hmm. some adjustments. Let us see here. Scorpion, Kano, Strike, oh, excuse, excuse me. Forest. Liu Kang was wise to choose you as champion. That means much coming from you. Let's talk about the final chat prediction. While we're still watching that intro, 77% on MK Javier and only 23% on the villain. Mm -hmm. Does it again? I'm using all the strapping gauge already. And he throws him forward. Now he's just gonna buy his time again. Each time Javier jumps, B knows he has to watch out for that TP. We might see it very, very soon. Good oh, standing to one catching him. Two, one of the best tools Scorpion mm -hmm. has. That button is insane. 100%. 1 1 1. Down back 2. Does he call striker? Nope. Not yet. But B gets counter poking here. Oh, that is nice. 
covering oh, both Oh, that was options. a good conversion right We here. have the sweep on the ground and we have Striker carrying that, or covering that entire airspace. Good stuff. Yep. Got a seminal block. We press in. All that chip damage. Be not trying to take the risk of uh, nasty empty jump, baiting that uplock yeah. as well. MK Javier reading him like a Harry Potter book. Oh, uh, Javier expected the, the, the knives, but he actually did not call Kano, so that could have been a full combo punish on that teleport. And that actually jailed. Ace in the chat. Thank you so much for the resub. Mm -hmm. I'm looking like in control right now. Do we see an armor move? Oh, Kano saved his life, <laughs> and we're waking up jump on. Oof. The villain. This man is in trouble. Nice catch, and that's gonna be. He's gonna break, surely. Yeah, of course. Oh, he might be. He, that's gonna be a launch, right? Yep, he's not dead. And we're jumping on Wake Up no. again. MK Javier. Like, what is he doing? How do you come up mm -hmm. with a read like that? Javier, like, enjoying himself giving a. Two shoutouts to a uh, long corridor with those wake up jumps. <laughs> Two O lead. The villain can't get anything started, and, and we even get the she... T-Bags. And the fatal, really? Oh boy. Two O. By the way, remember guys, this is not first to three. This is first to five. Fatality. Maybe a moderator Story. can can pin it in the chat that it's a first to five. And Faisal is saying, free money indeed. OVL, what are we doing here together? <laughs> the villain, he needs to wake up. Wait, are Mikasa pinning this? Something's wrong here. Yeah, this you is see a different the Chilling a little bit in the character select screen, we see the first character switch. Baraka, character switch, yeah. With, of course, Striker, obviously. I wouldn't wish Targot on my worst enemy. Then help me stop Bihan from weaponizing it. Round one, fight. Initial hand with the down two. Pressing, because why not? Oh, that comes in. Oh, on that, but gets away with it. Nice tech on the back throw. But MK Javier, the thing we know for sure is that he is so comfortable in all these top tier matchups. You know, these again. meta characters. Raiden, Baraka. Oh, he plays them time. every single day, chat. Mm -hmm. That could have been a punish, but I don't think B was ready for it. Nice block. Striker, of course. That was a dangerous jump for B. We might see a... Oh, never mind. No duck. That could have been a duck here because Striker was not available for Javier, actually. And he gets caught walking forward with the spear. Classic Scorpion moment right here. And Another round from Javier. Looking like a freaking Dark Souls boss in front of our eyes. So confident. Nice armor. Recognizing that Javier did not jail it this time. And back to where it is. Another one. This time forward. Another one. Another armor, like, we're not jailing his stuff. A lot of grabs so far. <laughs> the villain is not getting thinking, shady. you know, if you can't open him up, just grab him over and over again. Mm -hmm. But MK, Mortal Kombat games have always been like among the most dangerous games to do that in. Not like, you know, Street Fighter, for example. <laughs> Black Street Fighter, like, thank probably you looks so much. more important. For the 50 euro donation saying, first crossplay season is coming. I can't wait to see it. You guys are amazing. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for the help. Nice punish right here. We might see a teleport. No, good luck on the mid, the EX version. And there's the chip damage of the instant aerial death spin. You mean the villain? Mm -hmm. 
Vous savez qui on est Le villain copter Le tracker copter Le tracker copter, le tracker copter, comme vous voulez dire Good awareness from the villain right now Ok, il doit prendre ce bring parce que sinon, si Javier assure ce 3-0 lead, il va être dur Nous parlons de momentum beaucoup dans ces événements Oh, big hit Et c'est un breaker Ok, c'est un breaker Hit connect. I'm gonna hit connect. There's the armor. See, like, he's eating a lot of armors right now. So far. Not a bad decision to go for the break. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh! For the grab. I could, I could have been a pick up here, but. Oh, he caught him. He's still he's still alive. But we, we he might go. He might want to go for the OT. I think he's going for the OT, right? Oh, never mind. Maybe call striker. Flawless Two, one. So it's not going to be a full sweep. I think Javier tried to go for um, an instant yeah, down back too. Like, you know, the, um, the snag, the air snag. But he just was too late. Either that or instant yeah, teleport. And I see a, chame a chameleon. Uh, we have a cameo character switch from Javier. Scorpion cameo, I mean, Scorpion uh, chameleon is it. Back throw is probably gonna call striker. Yep. That is guaranteed. If you time it perfectly, you gotta block. I think only Osho can get out of that. Box. Just waiting for him to just waste his chameleon so gauge, even though he's gonna come back quick. Yeah, he just peep. Oh, nice catch from the, the back dash. Too. Yeah, that was and great. And a breaker. Very interesting breaker. Can't oh, throw spears in it. Yep. And another one. He's just eating those grabs one by one. Nice flawless block. Oh, that was, that was beautiful. Block. But they are oh, no. not able to get the follow up. Do yeah, we actually see the, the tournament nerves in action? I don't know, but this is very uncharacteristic for Javier missing a standing one hit confirm. And there it is, the jogging simulator. That's what Javier is known for. <laughs> Punish? Oh, barely missed timing it. That's it to where? Do that to where here? Nice optimal conversion, too. Another throw. Nice good jump on not counter poking. And of course, he knows it has an armor gap. That's two armors. Yeah, Barack Barash has two armor gap, by the way. Neutron block. It's also neutron falls block by the way, so it doesn't change that. Ballsy grab from B. Another back throw. Has the lively secure. Okay. He's so close to tying this entire match up again. Nice block. Perfect block. Does he get the breaker on time? He no, doesn't. he doesn't. The villain. And we see, of course, the tea bag. <laughs> man is bringing it back all the way. We have a tie oh, he a fiddle, but he took too long. <laughs> he tried a fiddle, but he took too long with the with the tea bag. <laughs> We have a match, two games at peace. So right now it looks like this Baraka's change really worked out for B. Yeah, especially with the way Javier has been eating like grabs. Like he, obviously he does not, he, he's not trying to get shimmied by back three one or back three into a Baraka Barash commitment, which I fully understand. Because that's what Baraka does, really. I right, Scorpion Chameleon again. And yeah, again, reminder guys, this is first to five. You have nothing left this is not first to three like the previous ones we have witnessed today. Round one. Fight. Here we go. I don't find the blade charge, no but... Drafts, but this time from Javier. Mm -hmm. And he gets shimmy, there we go. This right here, guys, is why Javier has been taking the throws for the most part. To not get caught, like shimmy like that. Try to get the conversion, but yeah, not able he tried. to fully convert in time. Another throw. Striker. 
Okay, I'm going to swing back with a grab of his own. Be knowing exactly that Javier was going to spend all of his meter with a glaze. And we armor mashing on hit, because why not? If you're not going to gel your, stay, your stuff, nice block. He's still going to be able to break, isn't he? Yeah, see, this is the glitch I was talking about. Camillion just got hit, yet Javier was still able to break. I hope they have to fix that, because it's game breaking. Oh, nice. A nice freak, by the way, from B going for a high button to take his turn back. Which yeah, is usually you know risky what that means? in this game. The villain in the lead for the very, yeah, very the first lead. time in this set. First time, absolutely. Can he keep the read? Can he keep the lead, though? And Another he gets shimmy, but be going for the mid version just in case Javier starts ducking the back three one. This is going to be a big damage. Standing four. Does he go for a barrel again? Let's see. No, he's just backing away. Glaive comes in. He's probably going to launch another one very soon. Oh, well, that was a risky jump from the villain. Immediately paid the price. Mm -hmm. And we're jumping on the wake up. Those wake up jumps have been proving very successful so far. That is a good point. Yes, Javier loves around, yeah. to do that a lot, even though it is so risky in MK1 to go for a wake up jump, but somehow he makes it work. Yeah, he does. That was too I mean, plus. Less risky. Yeah, that was definitely too plus, yeah. Does he go for a spear? Okay, now he's just. Oh, there it is. And the lift come again, save the day. That's a real punish. That yep. was a sexy micro lag from the villain. I gotta say that. A great reaction time. And here comes the mix. What's coming? Grab. Or, ooh, nice block. Pressing, because why not? He gets shimmied. Does he get a bar on time? No, he doesn't. So he's gonna keep it middle of this. Turning 3 3 back, forward 4 into the lift. He's gonna do it again. No, he's gonna go for 1. He just got the middle of this. 43%. Very, very decent damage. And now he's just gonna bite his time. We're gonna see the Jade Glaive. Yes, we are. He's not gonna do it again. Yeah. Good luck on the spear. And he gets caught moving. That's a breaker. Yeah, definitely. That's nice Flossbach with no punish. That could have been a blade charge. And we're grabbing. Risky grab, actually, from Javier, because he would have eaten Fiddle. Another one. He might try to OTG him soon. A yellow charge. Do we see an armor from Javier? No, we see a poke. Nice flawless, flawless block. block. Hit it! And oh, wait, what is Chameleon doing over there in the back? He, he has to fit a blow. Yeah, of course. He absolutely has to, because he was about to get his breaker. We should be looking at 45, 46% maybe? Can he bring Plus it the back? damage over time. That would be a ridiculous comeback. But there is the jump in! Oh, and he's been mashing! He's been mashing! That actually jailed! And the yeah. down three just before the striker comes in. This set Over is on that. Chat. It is. And then just going went for the fatal blow in <laughs> finishing screen. This is getting toxic in here. Man, I'm losing my shit. This is so freaking Break close, chat. It is. It really is. So this is not the end, guys. This is first to five once again. This is not first to three. Like it was before, like in the previous, uh, the previous sessions. Seventy-seven percent of this community think that MK Javier is going to win this set. Three hundred seventy-seven thousand channel points on MK Javier, by the way. Barack, Scorpion, Striker, Chameleon, Tomb of the Dragon Army. Your martial arts style is unique. It is the way of the Asgard. Round one, fight. He's on the throat and he's gonna pay for it already. What we choose, spins the bar. Doesn't go for the snag. He probably was gonna whiff it, since he was still a bit high on in the air while doing the, the air juggle string. Nice armor, but oh, barely broke it. That goes for a back grab. We're gonna call striker. Grab or no, gel his stuff. This is such a close match so far. Another gray mm -hmm. duck from gray. Another gray duck from gray. Low key bars. <laughs> <laughs> Low key, that's some bars. Striker. And chameleon gets denied. We see an armor. 
No, we don't. <gasps> oh! Doesn't get shimmied. Nice whiff punish! He has the break though. Yeah, there it is. All right, B gets caught one more time, he's dead. Oh, never mind, that spin. Nice uppercut. Completely now Javier the fake uh, teleport in my game. Since obviously it's always a high. And now fake targets out to but wake up buttons or wake up down to maybe? And he just got grabbed out of it. And the standing to catching him trying to backdash. And he's not blocking on wake up now. Yeah, and two times but he's back to back, Javier doesn't yeah. respect all the wake up options. And he spends the fatal blow here. We should be looking at 45% or something. 44. Yeah, not 44. Mm -hmm. Definitely not. I ain't gonna lie, I really thought he was gonna eat that second glaive because he was like in the middle of his dashing animation. Oh, I saw the mic little micro duck from Javier, but B, the link is wrapped perfectly. The respect, both of them, they decided yeah. not to press More anything. Respect for him. Javier expected the point. Be new to respect. Be new to respect because Striker was not available yet. And there's a back three into a rocket barrage. I think either Javier Tara Flaws is not going to join, of course. The tea bag. And we see the Christmas <laughs> fatal. Wait, Jardy, with all respect in the chat, say Javier is a latency warrior win offline. That's what it counts. That is literally what he did. <laughs> yes, well, yeah, that's what he did. Like, that is, he literally had your face. No, he literally <laughs> had one of the best performance at a major yeah, offline tournament. That was his first. I think that was his first like offline major debut, and he finished literally third place with yes. only Scorpion. Third so, place yeah. in an offline major with Tekken Master and everyone playing. We're only losing to Tekken Master and, and um, winners finals and Kanye Money and losers finals. Like, come on, bro. <laughs> three three though. VL, we got back to this match. Go. Everything tied three, up. Three. That is actually a good point, uh, Supreme. We haven't seen a single blocker 4 3 yet from uh, from B. Uh, Avi having a very strong start so far. Almost had the trip guard on that lift. And we're mashing Barwell on the train. Avi is showing like, quite some, some, quite some balls. Try to go for the uh, for hit confirm for, for conversion from the standing 2 and catching him out of the air. Very one-sided round, yeah. Very, very one-sided first round for Javier. The, I don't know why it's happening like that, but we literally see momentum change all the time between them. Yeah. A little tag on the back door, but Javier's like, you know what? Screw you, I'm gonna grab you again. And that was a back throw, back throw again, too. Nice block on the spear. Get shimmy. Be recognizing the striker was gonna show up, so I had to uh, change his combo. Another trade right here. Another one. Oh, gets caught. That's a big hit. Does he break? No, he's saving it. And me not risking going for the optimal combo. I've been not blocking on wake up here. Can he try to press the button again? Nope, not this time. That's safe. Oh, that was actually not plus. Like, B gets away with it. So much chip damage and a nice whiff punish on a standing 1 2 with his back one. Final round. Pretty one sided round, but this time in B's favor. Great Beautiful up. conversion. Yeah, that was a great pickup for sure. Got tech on the back throw. Empty jump into bait the up block, and it worked. We might see a, a yellow charge into a striker grenade soon. He's blocking the spear. I don't think that B has ever got hit by that, like for a while at least. And Javier, he loves to do that. Backdash and then all mm -hmm. of a sudden dash in into standing two. But this time be a little bit quicker. This time breaks, so yeah. Oh, no! Crucial spear right here. And he's just gonna... No, he rushes in there. Oh, big waves. Does he spend the fatal blow? I press him with, but let's see. Yes, of course he does. He does. 
And let's see how much damage this is going to do. Now this was from standing too, so it's going to be higher than the last one. I think it was like, it should be 47 now. Yeah, 47. Oh, Striker Etwehen him, spends the bar on the down back one, and that's going to work. And just like that, B taking the lead this in the set. This is unbelievable. This is so intense. And another the villain, <laughs> and now we see the first fatal. <laughs> $200 on the line. MK Javier saying it's gonna be easy money, bro. But right now, VL, it doesn't look easy at all. Uh, this is first at five, by the way. So that means B is on the set point. After, after Javier had a, a really strong start taking the first two games of the set, be looking like looking he forward to uh, turning more. it around one more win yeah and his and that 200 bucks is his and javier locked in on scorpion chameleon for the rest of the set yes no yeah, switch is switch allowed anymore cameo. no cameo switch anymore either this match deserves to go to a final round by the way in my opinion i hope i hope oh start off, we're already starting off with a nice raid on the up block Nice uppercut. Ooh, he wanted the standing one, but I think 4-3. Oh, my. B got lucky as hell that Chameleon switched to Melina. Because had he been on Katana, he was going to eat a lot, of, a lot of damage. And that's it. What's he's about to eat? From the Glaive. Standing for Spear. Standing 3-3. Goes for the lift. Yep. That should be 40%. <clears throat> and Javier has zero reason to move forward now. Unless he wants to surprise him. Oh, that's gonna be a big punish. And that is a big one, but uh, Javier, he has such a decent life lead, even after this entire combo. Mm -hmm. Caught him mashing on Wake Up. Risky grab, and oh, he, oh wow, it's still killed. Okay, because like I know the Melina grab does 9%, so it's a bit less than average. Right. Does he spear? No, he doesn't. But be armoring through on the spot. Our counter poking. Does he armor? No, he doesn't. Saving his mirror now. Still saving his mirror. And he gets him out. He gets himself out of the corner with that back throw. Oh, that was so Ooh, close. That could have been, that oh, that could have been really combo. bad. Yeah, that, he had to break. Yeah, he definitely had to break. But that, was, that could have actually been, been really bad for B because Chameleon took the hit. So how could have actually punished that? And the standing to one. That Noticing B is uh, been moving uh, forward a bit linearly, you know? Not set to air, but the Glaive probably gonna save the day. Nice, crucial duck. Standing right to one now, down the for two. Trying to squeeze out all the damage guess, in the yeah. world. There's the poke special. Like a good flawless block. Javier got hit by that. Nice block. This could end badly for B. Oh, and Striker, and oh my gosh. The, day. the villain, even though yeah. he is with his back against the wall. Set point. He is on set point. Post oh, he gets Does he side switch or does he stay? Is it... No, he stays on the same side. And he's trying to wake up jump. Oh, no, no, no. Not this time, he said. Good conversion. Keeps it simple. I think Javier probably expected uh, that's, that, that combo to have more gravity, which is why he just went for standing one spear at the very end. And Javier has to be super careful now. Uh, they're both on, on similar health values. Nice block, but no duck on the high. The block from Javier, not ducking, the not making the mistake of ducking here. Delayed grab, but Javier nice this tag. time able to take it. An interesting trade. Yeah. Oh no, that's caught, but oh, it's trying to save him. Cameos, and wait a minute, this is a lot of damage. Do we still wake up bomb and move? Because we haven't What's seen a single one yet. Nice block. Missed the top, missed on the floor, there's a MK Javier, double poke, goes into the teleport, and, and B, block, he and got gonna the be block, and MK Javier is and losing like this $200 money match. 5-3 for B, completely turning it around with Baraka. The, the Raiden was villain. not working earlier. The nightmare VL of every MK1 <laughs> player out there. He did it again. He found another victim. And this time it was the best scorpion in the world. GG's.
That was a really good set, though. I like. Man, I agree. And kudos to be and kudos to be for really turning it around with a character obviously obviously weaker than Raiden, but still like really strong. Baraka didn't expect that. I ain't gonna lie. That was. I definitely thought he would do it better with Raiden <laughs> than with Baraka. That was absolutely insane. And yes, VL, I agree with you. That was overall a phenomenal set from both sides. Coming down to the wire, GGs, and of course. A big shout out to both of them for playing it here on stream, for bringing that entertainment to this community. I appreciate you guys a lot. But just like that, it is the end of today's stream VL. We're going to return tomorrow with our WES special event, Invitational mm -hmm. Top 8. Hopefully you guys are going to be there. VL, thank you so much for the great commentary today. I hope you enjoyed it just as much as I did. 100%. 100%, <laughs> bro. So, chat, <laughs> I'm going to catch you guys tomorrow. Have a wonderful evening. Stay safe out mm -hmm. there. And we're going to be Take back easy, everyone. very, very soon. Be nice to Tigris. Excellent, we're bro. out.